Hi, Ken here. The following video references an app called Feel Social, but the directions to use Social Responder are the same. If you have any questions, please contact us at the address shown at the end of this video. Thank you. Hey, Sam here. Welcome to this video for Feel Social. I'm excited to show you the software today. It's a new automated tool that works really well with Facebook Messenger. Now, Facebook has been working a lot on improving their platform, making it easier for marketers to sell products and also making it more comfortable for their users as well. One of the features that they've recently or unraveled is their uh, basically their API when it comes to Facebook Messenger. So it means that a lot more softwares are now coming out to do with Facebook Messenger. You're probably going to see a few more coming out in future as well. And this is one that has come as a result of this new API update that Facebook has done. Now what the software does, it basically gives you the ability to turn Facebook Messenger into an autoresponder, but it doesn't just stop there. This is an autoresponder, it allows you to send automated sequences, automated updates um, to your people that are on Facebook who are engaging with you through Facebook pages or who are engaging with your website who you want to add to your Facebook Messenger subscriber list so you can broadcast messages to them. Now, what you're seeing on my screen right now is the result of creating one of these um, call to actions to engage people, to get them clicking, and you can create these call to actions and then broadcast it out to your subscribers uh, once they become part of that Facebook Messenger list that you're building. One thing you want to note is when you, whenever you're doing this, always make sure you've got a way of people unsubscribing. Uh, if they are in this situation, you're sending out these messages, thankfully the software does give you the ability to unsubscribe people or add more people to your list if you really want to. You can set up triggers and delays. You can create unlimited follow-up messages. You can select whichever Facebook page you're using. You can create mass message broadcasts. That's to multiple people at once. And you can also send or schedule any mass messenger message at any time. Now, when you've sent out your message, when you've broadcasted it, it's going to show up like this on Facebook. Uh, for whatever reason, they don't really show this very well in the sales material. So this is what the end result looks like. Now, here's um, Sam. What Sam's going to do is he's going to take you through a demo now of how the software works, all the different parts of the software, so you can make a decision as to whether this is right for you. Thankfully, today also we've managed to get some really good bonuses that are available down below. So if you'd like to see those, they're down below as well. And yes, this is a good option for your clients. If you're thinking about how you could potentially use this in your business, you can use this as another alternative marketing channel. So you've got email, you can engage your subscribers through email, you can engage them through Facebook Messenger and it increases the chances um, of you making a sale when you're messaging different people in all these different platforms. It basically gives you more marketing channels so you have a higher percentage or a higher chance of making sales as a result of using all of them combined versus just using one and trying to communicate with people um, via one method which is what most people do. They communicate either via um, email and it's the only method and it means that you know you, you get about 10 to 20 percent of people opening your emails uh, on you know based on every email you send out whereas if you are getting that through email and then you're engaging people through Facebook Messenger you can increase the percentage of people that see a particular offer that you're promoting as well so that's where a software like this comes in okay I hope this is clear now uh, you, you can go down and have a look about uh, more of the details about the software down below as well as all of the bonuses. Here's Sam Robinson. He's going to take you through uh, what the software does, how it works, and, um, and, and a full demo of the software in action. So I've synced up my Facebook already. Uh, that is done when you first log in, so we don't need to take a look at that. It is as simple as edit, uh, adding your uh, username and your password, and now I can select the pages I want to have. Now, as you can see, I've got a number of pages I can choose from, so I'm going to choose this page here as uh, just for the purposes of this demo. Now I can set up a campaign, so I'm going to call this the SMP Test Campaign. This is a brand new page, I only have one like on it, uh, just for the purposes of this demo. So here we see we have the ability to be able to start typing a message. So this is a new automation campaign, so when people message our, 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 our message button, this is going to reply to them and uh, send them where we need it to be. So this uh, campaign, we can type a custom message, what we can do is say hey, and then if we click down here on dynamic variables, we can choose whether we want their first name, uh, or their full name, first name, last name, full date, current day and time. So we will just use first name so it will automatically reply. Uh, we'll say thanks for getting in touch with us on SMP technology. If you need further help, please let us know in here or contact our support disk 
Okay, now what I can do is I can add a link into this here by just clicking add link. So I'll put in the uh, link to our support desk. Technology.zendesk.com and then we'll go support so that will put the text over the link. Perfect, so that is all within our auto, uh, our test campaign here. So if I click add, that is going to uh, add that campaign. That is the first sequence in the campaign. We can add another sequence if they reply. So what we can do is if they reply, I can say, hey, and I can select their first name, last name. So I'll go first name, uh, and then I will say, thank you for the reply what can we help you with on here today and we can click uh, we can add a couple of variables so i can go add call to action uh, i would like support and then i click uh, that or i can say um, uh, need oh, support or buy product Okay, so it's going to add in a couple of variables and we click add. So when the message, they message the campaign, they can either click support or buy product. Now, depending on what they click, we can have, uh, so if they want support, we can put in another message here, just saying for support, support, please contact, uh, H and we can please contact us at the link below. And we can just put in the link, add link. And we go http colon slash slash smp technology dot zendesk dot com. Contact us here. Perfect. So we can do this. We can also add in images. Uh, we can just choose a uh, file to add in. Uh, so we can just use a nice simple image. We can also add in headlines and descriptions and things like that within your message as well. But this is a great way to set up a nice campaign and we just click add and then we click save. So that will all be set up now uh, within Facebook. There we go, all set up, all nice and saved. So this is the first automated uh, campaign. So now I'm going to show you the broadcast feature. It's a really cool way to be able to market your products to your customers. You can do it in the automation one by setting the different variables. So, uh, you know, like with uh, sending them to sales pages, would you like to know more? Yes or no. However, the broadcast feature is uh, one that is actually really, really simple to use. What you do is you just put it in and we just say, uh, we'll call this the Insta Pilot test. Now, what I do is I just click plus and what I can do is type a custom message. So I'm going to go, hey, and then put in the dynamic variables, I'm going to put just their first name. Okay, I'm going to say, did you know we launched a new Instagram software this week? Check it out at, and then we can add in the link here. We'll go http instapilotapp.com and then I will put the text over your um, URL. We can put text over or just leave the link as it is. So uh, we can put C Insta Pilot here. Now what I can do is I can schedule that for the future so it can go out at a certain time or I can send it out now. The scheduler feature is nice and easy to use. Uh, you can select users that have messaged within a certain time frame, which is really useful for being able to select new messages, uh, you know, new hot recent leads, or you can select to use all users. Now you select a date you want it to go out on and the time on the right here. Very, very simple. As you can see, it is displaying in my local time. So it will display the broadcaster in your local time. So you can either click schedule. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to just click send now. And that is sent out. Ignore this box at the top. I am using the test version, so it might just be throwing up a random thing. Now let's check down the bottom here. We're going to change browser. And as you can see, I have received a message in my demo account here. Hey Rex, do you know we launched a new Instagram software this week? Check it out. I can click on this link and here it is. It's opening up the page now. So it is a uh, it is a brilliant tool to be able to market to your, uh, to your list, a list that you have built over Facebook and be able to market products without, you know, all your, all your marketing getting lost in email. So this is a really, really cool tool. If we jump back over into the feel social, uh, into this feel social, dashboard we can have a look at some of the quick look over some of the other features so i can see the uh broadcasts that i have gone out 
because this is just a test account i only have one lead in my feel, feel social at the moment but as you build up uh you can end up building up tons of leads this is really really good for e-com marketers who may have a fan page to do with a certain product or or any sort of marketer any at all if you need to market products to them using facebook automation uh, with that as you can see there's a whole bunch of uh, different features in each sequence that you could set up uh, if we go back into this we'll just choose a random page and start a new campaign so you have the ability to add images into your messages add headlines add descriptions and also uh, the calls to action which is uh, you know like your yes or no to set up this sequence now also all of these have really nice uh, training videos as well as you go through them so when you first get started it is very simple to get started so this is Sam Robinson it's been really cool to quickly show you uh, how quick and easy it is to set up an auto response campaign with feel social and be able to market to your customers Check out for more thanks for watching remember if you have any questions or concerns, please contact us at www.businessbuildersconnection.com forward slash help or click on the green button at the lower right corner of the website. Thank you.